welcome back to Stacy So and So and happy November 1st. I know it's been a long time since I've been on here and I just wanted to kind of catch you up a little bit on where I've been and why I haven't really uh, been making videos. Um, we've had just a lot going on in our family. Uh, we've had, you know, my mother and my father and my husband have all had some um, health scares. That being said, they are all doing much better now. Uh, we're hopefully going to get some answers for my husband's um, health issue on Tuesday, but we're feeling very optimistic about it. So between that and, of course, just the general consensus of the world with, you know, the economy, I ended up shutting down my business, which took a very uh, heavy toll on my mental health. Um, and so I just kind of really pulled back from sewing for a while. Um, I just kind of felt like I had lost all of my joy and I'm starting to pull myself out of that. And so I decided that I would start making my weekly videos again on YouTube because I found a lot of joy in that. And I really want to get back into sewing now, whether I'll ever restart my business again, I don't know. I haven't made a decision about that, but I really do love making things. And being that it is November 1st, um, for me, that means Christmas time is in high drive. I love Christmas and I always make Christmas gifts for members of my family. And so I'm going to be focusing on doing those things that make me happy. And I thought I would share them with you. Um, I'm probably not going to do vlogmas this year. Because <clears throat> I have to tell you, that was, although fun, doing a video a day was very, very intense. And I'm like, I just want to take my time with a little bit more. So I'm starting Christmas or my Vlogmas today. Now, I'm probably not going to be making um, as elaborate gifts as I have in the past. Because, you know, when my cousin's girls and my niece were younger, it was cool to have an aunt that could sew. But, you know. They're getting older and well, but there are still certain things that I can make for them. That I think that they will enjoy and will be a surprise. And in between all of that, I have thought of some things that I want to make because it's something I want to, I want to, I want to make for myself so that I can enjoy. And I'm going to share those with you as well, because maybe it's something that you want to try making. So the first thing I want to show you, this is something I've been thinking about for a while. I actually... Well, first, let's see who remembers. Who remembers these bags from the 80s? You remember these? This is just the cover. I'm going to take the cover off. I had one. I think I was in, I think I got it when I was in sixth grade. I love that purse. And I am so sad. I don't know what happened to it over the years. It was red on one side and the other side was a uh, plaid that had like red and navy blue and tan. I loved it. I love that purse and I'm really sad that I've lost it over the years. So I got curious about it one day. I'm like, I wonder if anyone still makes these purses. And so about a year ago, I found this one online um, and people still make them and they still make the covers. And I thought, you know what? I want to learn how to make new covers for this bag. I also want to try to find a way because sometimes I prefer like a shoulder strap because I'm not always good about carrying around in my hand a purse like this. So I'm thinking about trying to figure out how to way to add hardware that would I can clip on and off so that if I want to carry it like cross body bag style, I can. So this is going to be one of my projects. Um, and I want to do, because you guys know, I love patchwork. So I want to do a cover that is patchwork. I'm thinking about making it reversible so that maybe it's patchwork on one side and just a solid color on the other. So this is probably going to be one of the projects that you'll see me working on. And it may be over a couple of different videos because I haven't quite worked out. I'm going to have to make a pattern. I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to do all of it, but I'm going to figure it out. So that's one of the projects. The other, one of the first projects that I'm going to be working on um, are the Christmas ornaments. If you remember, I did a test one a while back. Um, this is a little bit bigger than the ones I'm going to be making, but I'm going to be doing a whole bunch 
I think I had 12. My aunt needs 12. She's going to be giving them out as Christmas gifts this year um, to her husband's sisters for Christmas. So we're going to be working on these. These are very simple and a great way to make a gift. I think I did a whole video on it. Pretty sure that I talked about if you're not doing it as, you know, as a memory out of a loved one's shirt, this would be really cute. Imagine it in all red and put a little black piece, you know, like a uh, like piece of black ribbon across it with a little buckle. You can make it look like Santa Claus. You can make it look like a snowman belly with the little buttons down and a little scarf around the top. Anyway, totally cute. And I do have some ideas and projects, other projects that I want to try to do, uh, specifically for my niece and nephew. I hope <laughs> that I have enough time to complete them and get them in the mail to them. So, um, I will share that with you as I get closer. I'm going to have to go shockingly. I'm going to have to go buy some fabric. <laughs> it's hard to believe. So those are some things I'm going to be working on. I hope that you'll stick around. You'll come back to see, you know, what Christmas projects that I'm up to. Um, and I just want to say that I have missed being on here and I hope that you guys have had a wonderful time. I haven't you know, been on here since July. I hope everything's gone well for everybody. I hope everyone had a very happy Halloween yesterday. We got to hand out candy to all of the kids uh, that stopped by. I think we, we don't usually get very many. I think last night we had more uh, than we had other nights. We probably like 20 to 30 kids show up and it was just so fun to see all of them show up in their costumes. They were so cute. I think my favorite was the family that um, the baby was Mario. Um, mom was Luigi and dad was Yoshi. They were, they were adorable. So, um, anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. I will be back next week. I'm not sure which project I'm going to start on first. I might start planning the, the cover for this. So might start doing that and getting together all of my, you know, the fabric that I want for my patches and stuff. So anyway, thank you guys. I am back. I'm going to be taking my time um, and trying to work on projects and share projects with you and, and how to sew things and how to make things. And I hope that it will be helpful and inspirational to you. So until next week, happy sewing, everybody.